the service of healing and wholeness. St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. A very warm welcome to this service of healing and renewal. We hope that you will not only enjoy it but will find some element of the service that speaks to you in a particular way, whether it's from the words or the pictures, uh, the music. When we come to the prayers, you'll notice that, as usual, the responses are in bold type. If you wish to join in, then please do so. And so, our opening prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the gift of life and placed us in a world of beauty and wonder. Your perfect will for us is wholeness in body, mind and spirit. We are in awe and wonder at your feet and freely acknowledge our dependence upon you for all that is good. Amen. So a time of quiet. In your presence, we remember our sin and failure, all that damages our lives, the lives of others, and the world which you have created. In penitence, we ask you to forgive us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who loves us and gave us for him and gave himself. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. This morning's Gospel is from Peter's first epistle, chapter 1, 
verses 3 to 9. Praise to God for a living hope. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, you may have to have had suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Greetings everyone. A short reflection today on renewal and healing. Words with different meanings but with a common idea of restoration. Peter writing his first letter after Jesus died, he, he focuses on the new birth that this has brought to all who truly believe in and follow him. This is not a short-term opportunity to take time to undertake a renewal of your God and all clear out the garage. No, this is about renewal of your soul, your very soul renewed and reborn into what Peter describes as an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled and unfading. Your protection is by the power of God, who you love even though you don't see. You believe in him and rejoice with great joy, because you know you're receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Which brings me to Mark and healing. Mark was Peter's first tra translator, so you can imagine they thought alike. Mark recounts the story of the woman who had been suffering from a bleeding sickness for 12 years. Her life is wrecked, she's in constant pain, isolated from social contact. She's broke and desperate. She's tried the quacks but to no effect. And now she's heard of Jesus. The reputation a bit mixed but she was desperate. And so if she could only just touch his robe, she might be healed. So she did, and she was. It's the only time Jesus healed without speaking. He sensed the power had gone out of him, and then spoke. Daughter, your faith has made you whole. There's another miracle here, apart from the healing itself. That's the context of it. It's in a street, not in a church. No words were spoken. No rushing. But just giving God a chance to respond. When we pray, remember that we're already renewed and reborn through Christ. So we can always be certain of God's ear. Amen.
also we pray for the world and ourselves. Heavenly Father, we pray for the whole of the human family, your children, our brothers and sisters throughout the world and their leaders, and all who have authority and influence, that there may be peace, freedom and justice among all people everywhere. We pray for all Christian people. We remember those persecuted for their faith, for peace in your church, for healing of divisions wherever they are found, that in faith and unity we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who suffer, victims of war and violence, of persecution and aggression, of disaster and accident, for the homeless and the hungry, for refugees and asylum seekers, for the destitute and the oppressed, for the lonely and the unloved, and for those that mourn, that they may find strength and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick in our communities, those in hospital or at home, for those recovering from surgery. We pray particularly for those suffering the effects of COVID-19. For those whose minds are beset with anxiety and fear. For those broken in spirit. And for all those involved in caring or supporting roles. We pray for those who turn to us for healing and comfort, that together in you we may find wholeness and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a moment of quiet as we pray for those on our hearts today. and prayers of thanksgiving. We thank you, redeeming God. You have come to us in Jesus Christ, who heals us and saves us from sin. Your mercy endures forever. We thank you, holy God. You have sent us your spirit to comfort us and lead us into all truth. Your mercy endures forever. Gracious, redeeming and holy God, glory and praise be yours, now and forever. Amen. And a final blessing. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look on us with kindness and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>